Okay, welcome back, Double D Digital Dojo. Time for a little mind work along with all the physical things we've been doing. I want to welcome you to a new section that I'm developing in our Kempo Kane series. And this is mainly for students, and it's called Stick to Math. There you go, Stick to Math. And the basic theory is that martial arts improves your mind doesn't just improve your body. If you take a look at a young child, movement is a part of learning. So as they move their arms and legs, they crawl across the floor, they stimulate their brain uh, into new areas of endeavor, opens up new channels and pathway, nerve connections, synapses are fired, and knowledge is able to be received, stored, and utilized uh, much more efficiently because of the child's motion. So motion is a part of your education. That's why we had, have or had physical education. But in many institutions, they don't have physical education anymore. Everybody's sitting in a chair, looking at a board, and working on trying to get smarter. Well, I think there are many different ways for individuals to learn, and so that's why I think the martial arts is a, a critical and important element of a child's education. Uh, movement, coordinated motion, working on telling, having your mind tell your body what to do is a part of your overall educational process. It develops, obviously, coordination in your hand and eye. It develops clarity between your perceptive mind and your action mind. That's why we talk about perceptual speed uh, in terms of the three types of speed that we utilize in Kempo, perceptual, mental, and physical. So, and math is a critical element for uh, all areas of life, whether you're balancing your checkbook or going shopping or you're entering into nuclear quantum physics uh, or the field of medicine or law. Uh, math is not going anywhere. And it's subjective. Uh, it's pretty much right or wrong. You know, two plus two is four in most situations, if not all. So it's not open to a lot of debate or subjective analysis or manipulation. Uh, there's no fake math, okay? So um, this is why it's critically important uh, for uh, students to really master math. Now, from a uh, martial arts perspective, Math is also incredibly important because uh, what math and martial arts have in common is that you have to move quickly. Right? You have to understand, perceive, and act quickly in the martial arts, and you have to be able to act, understand and act quickly in math, otherwise you're not going to get through the math test. And you have to be able to see relationships. In the martial arts, you have to look out and see what are the relationships between the people around you, your environment. Uh, you, the exits, uh, the pathways of exit, the pathway uh, through adversaries who may be challenging you. In math, you need to see the relationship uh, with numbers, and the better you're able to visualize those relationships, the more successful you're going to be in doing uh, math, arithmetic, and, and math. We're going to be focusing mostly on arithmetic, uh, which is a subset of math in this particular endeavor and course, and I invite you to participate. Again, my basic thesis is, and I've called it stick to math, is because as you do the stick drills that I put uh, kind of in Mr. Hawkins' curriculum, just some of the fun things that we're doing, some of the combinations that we're working on, you're starting to stimulate both sides of your brain. You have a right brain and your left brain. And the theory is that your left brain is more verbal and your right brain is more uh, perceptual uh, or artistic. Uh, it's where music is generated and so forth. So you have a verbal and a nonverbal or a verbal and a uh, picture mind, uh, things that need to be combined in order for you to be successful. So the blended brain is the brain that is uh, on top of things. So uh, again, by moving your body, uh, coordinating your body, you stimulate your mind. So once you've stimulated your mind, that's a great environment to be in to learn because your mind is already fired up. It's been primed. It's ready to go. All right. So that's when we're going to introduce some of these uh, simple arithmetic concepts. So. That's my introduction to sticks, stick to math, and uh, we'll come back with uh, some simple drills, exercises, and learning here in our next episode. Okay? All right, good. Now think about that.